Hi, my lovely Pisces. Welcome back to my channel. It's time for your reading for the next week. So let's look together. What messages and energies do we have for you for the sun, moon and rising sign in Pisces? And if you are the cross watcher, as you already know, it can be vice versa, but doesn't have to be. You will know who is who here in this reading, okay? What we have for you? I hope some beautiful stuff for the next week. Are we ready? Let's see. Let's see the overall energy for your reading. This is beautiful and very, very positive. Six of Swords, uh, you are leaving some uh, difficult cycle in the past. Uh, this is beautiful. Something much better awaits you here. Uh, also, you, if, uh, if you had some period, you know, some cycle uh, with, your, uh, with your person uh, that was full of... Uh, full of uh, arguments full, full of conflicts dramas uh, you are leaving this behind okay something better be better cycle uh, you too uh, awaits okay this is what we have here situation eight of swords feeling stuck uh, but no more you are moving on from this situation moving uh, moving stuck i don't have solution for this problem because you will find the solution for this problem okay uh, this is beautiful the star healing energy wish fulfillment uh, this is your yes card this is this is your sign from above you are on the right path uh, okay just don't give up don't give up because you will get your wish oh, what i was saying conflict 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 uh, the end of this cycle you know very very difficult cycle uh, judgment scorpio what is happening and as you already know this reading can be connected to your love situation to your professional life or maybe some another situation or relationship in your life uh, okay doesn't have to be for all of you just romantic reading beautiful chariot cancer energy look at this uh, movement movement move, movement uh, if uh, right now there is no communication or action from your person uh, the end of this cycle because look at this chariot this is the card of the victory and success they want to move things forward with you but in a good positive direction you know they don't want to fight anymore they don't want to fight because they love you they have emotions cancer cancer is full of emotions you know maybe they are just hiding their emotions maybe they're not showing their true emotions for uh, to you uh, five of cups yes feeling sad grieving mourning but um, hmm not uh, something much much better is coming mm -hmm. uh, and you are mani manifesting this uh, three of wands we have here fire sign maybe you're dealing with fire sign you are um, you are waiting your ships uh, and you will get your ships your, your ships are coming uh, you will get your wish okay let me clarify for you this is beautiful the chariot why we have the chariot for my pisces Eight of Pentacles, aha, uh -huh. this is beautiful, very, very positive uh, energy. Someone wants to put the effort in this relationship, you know. They want to invest uh, in this relationship with you. The tower after breakup, yes, major fight happened, uh, but it was not just one, uh, one uh, uh, fight, you know. Uh, it was the cycle of fights. This is what I'm feeling here, you know, but uh, the last one was um, the big one, the, the really, really, really big one. Uh, but after this experience, explosion you know after this breakup separation uh, eight of pentacles they want to put the effort with you in this relationship with you you know because uh, look at this the chariot uh, hmm, success victory balance uh, the magician uh, yes look at this and uh, and you guys you know you can make it can make it you know you can make this relationship work because you have all the tools uh, okay just just give each other a chance this is what i'm feeling here gemini energy uh, new beginning after the ending new beginning is coming here uh, gemini uh, cancer uh, four of pentacles yes for some of it was one-sided relationship and you had enough of this crap you know because you want better for yourself you want more for, uh, for yourself uh, five of cups what I was saying, feeling, you know, and saying in the beginning of this reading, five of wands, we have here a very, very intense relationship, also very, very impulsive person you are dealing with, seven of cups, yes, because you don't want fuck, you know, uh, you don't want illusions, you want real deal, you want real thing, you know, you, do, you don't want empty promises, you want, uh, you don't want someone to treat you like option, 
you know for some of you you are dealing with someone that is taken already you know uh, and um, that is why all these fights all these fights all these fights um, hmm. Ten of Cups, yes, for some of you, you are dealing with someone that is already married, you know, or in a committed relationship and you don't want it anymore. That is why you had enough of this, you know, third party situation. Unfortunately, yes, we have for some of you also this energy in this reading. Uh, the star, look at this, you are the star. You are their star. You are their everything. You are the one for them. You know, this is what we have here situation. You want your happily ever after with this person, you know, you want to have it all with them. You want to have it all with them. Mm -hmm. uh, and now you are waiting for this all to come. Uh, three of Wands. So we have here the King of Swords. You are waiting for a conversation here. Uh, the Seven of Wands. Yes, you, you are guarded here because uh, you demand more for yourself. And you want more for yourself. Three of Cups uh, celebration. We have here reconciliation. Uh, three of Swords. Yes, for some of you we have in this relationship third party situation for sure. You know, uh, someone is taken. Look at this also, two ladies here, you know. Um, three of wands, three of swords. I don't like these threes. So many threes we have here. It doesn't have to be that for all of you, this person is married, taken. You know, uh, third party also, it can mean, mean sometimes that this person was just uh, treating you like an option, you know. They were not ready for the they were not ready for the uh, commitment maybe you know they were rather spending uh, time with their friends uh, or whatever you know they choose everything else over you this is what i'm feeling and you had enough of this crap yes for some of you this person is taken married but not for all of you you know uh, they didn't give you the right uh, treatment and you had enough of this you ended things because you know that you deserve so much better and now you are waiting for the right offer from this person you know you won't settle for less than you deserve any longer with this person you know this is what i'm feeling here what keeper has for you Because you were all the time hurt, you were all the time sad, disappointed, you know, uh, in this uh, relationship. Uh, distant horizons we have here, uh-huh. Yes, you are focusing on the future here, because you exactly know what you want. Wealthy man, uh, courthouse we have here, yes, for some of you, this person is very, very um, wealthy for some of you, you know, very, they have very successful career, maybe they are a lawyer also for some of you, but uh, also... For some of you, this person was full of excuses. I don't have time for a relationship because I have a career, you know. I have to focus on my career. I don't have time for love. I don't have time for marriage. I don't have time for commitment, you know. Uh, I can be in a full-time relationship with you because blah, 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 you know. For some of you, we have here this situation also. Journey, uh-huh, journey, yes, traveling for some of you. Of course, not for all of you, uh, but... Let me, uh, let pull some, uh, a few of these, okay? Just begin, being near you is intoxicating. Here we have a uh, message from them. Hmm, they want you. What else? I want to be more than friends. Mm -hmm. Okay, you will accept it, right? But not just friends with benefits. No, you want a spouse. You want, you know, a committed relationship. You want marriage. You want it all. You want your ten of cups happily ever after. I couldn't let you get close to me. Yes, for some of you, this person has an issue with commitment, you know. Also, they are acting like Peter Pan here. Hmm, what else? I left you before you could leave me. Hmm, yes, ego, 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 ego. Ego, ego, we have here situation. You speak to me through music. Hmm, yes, they are thinking of you. And they have emotions for you, um, for you. What we have from this deck? Marriage proposal we have here from this deck. Uh, look at this. Wanting to propose a marriage. Not for all of you, of course, but um, something better. They will propose something better. Unrequited, one-sided uh, connection. Yes, it was one-sided connection and you had enough of this crap, you know. What else? Goat. Wow. 
Mm -hmm. And their star, I told you before. Uh, you are the greatest of them all. No one else compares to you. This is direct message to you from your person's energy. Beautiful. No one else compares to you. Mm. Pregnancy also. Watch out, my ladies. If you don't want to get pregnant, watch out. If you want to get pregnant, okay. It's it's okay. Okay. Uh, this is what I have for you. I um, hope that this will help. I'm wishing you a beautiful day. Enjoy. And don't forget, of course, good vibes only kisses